Finally, most Turtles players and enthusiasts will say that the guys struck gold with their final game of the original four. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, for the Super NES Entertainment System. Let me tell you something, this is the epitome of a Turtles game. This one is absolutely fun. This is one that resembles the arcade game to a T, so everybody who loves the arcade game, this is the game that you want to purchase. It's not something that's difficult to find. I'm typically able to find it either at Swap Meets or on eBay, but personally, I don't know why people would sell it. This is a wonderful game. It's one that I rented frequently and have on an emulator. The reason why I never purchased it was because I was a poor little bastard and cared more about other things, like my NES, even though the SNES provided serious upgrades. I don't know. I guess I was just hooked on nostalgia. But in this game, there's a tur it, right adequately enough, the Turtles in Time name is true to its form. You go back in time to 10,000 BC, Primitive Turtles. You go onto a, a freaking pirate ship. You go into space. You go into multiple locations. This is something that's not just based around New York, which is a really neat feature. Because you know what? The Turtles can hang around in New York all they want. They can do the New York thing all they want, and that was something that made the uh, series popular because for a lot of people, it hit close to home. It hit Americans close to home because New York was a city that for some people was their own backyard, or for other people that maybe were in L.A. or Chicago or Seattle, they could imagine it being their city. Now, this game also had something else that you're really going to enjoy. It featured multiple attacks, and the attacks generated multiple points. You could flip them behind your head. You could bash them from side to side. And my personal favorite, you could throw them into the screen. In fact, for the longest time, whenever you face Shredder for the first time, a lot of people don't know what you're supposed to do. Because Shredder is here, he's shooting at you with these ray guns, and you're fighting what seems to be an endless supply of foot soldiers. Well, what do you do? You decide to throw him into the screen, and bam, there you go. You're defeating old Shredhead. That's pretty freaking sweet. The graphics on this game definitely utilized the 16-bit engine that was inside of the SNES system. It was definitely a huge upgrade. Let me tell you something. The, everything was fluent about this. This is a game that you definitely want to play if you're a Turtles enthusiast. If you haven't played this game yet, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that display its power. There is some, there's a couple of users that I actually grew to be friendly with on YouTube that have done walkthroughs of this game. And if you ask me, I will give you their channels. In fact, I might even throw it over there in the description. You're going to want to check this game out. If you have an emulator, and you don't have the original cartridge for your SNES, and you have an emulator, this is a game that you want to play immediately after watching this video. Preferably after subscribing, rating, and commenting it. But that's just me senselessly plugging shit. The graphical upgrades were something that you saw right from the title screen. I mean, look at this badass beast. You love this piece of shit. Cowabunga, dudes. You're about to play a radical fucking game. And look at that. They all look freaking flawless. You gotta love it. Here's the first time you face Shredder, what I mentioned in the video. He's shooting at you from beyond the screen, it seems like, and you have to throw foot soldiers into him. It's a fucking badass battle, and revolutionary for its time. Check this out, you're facing Krang. Krang, motherfuckers! He makes an entrance in this video, or should I say an appearance, because he was in a couple of the previous games, but this one, he just looks amazing. Toka and Razar also got a complete upgrade. And look at that. Master C, have fun! Fun. Everybody remembers that from the movie. And look at that. It's fucking Super Shredder. Super Shredder would rape your grandmother and kill your children if he had the opportunity. Unless it was your duty to take him out. So get to it, motherfucker. This is your time to shine. So it's really hard to tell how we got from a button full of ass to a button full of amazingness in four short games. It's almost like they simply learned from experience. Which, I guess a learning curve is an adequate excuse for a gaming company, but whenever you're dealing with a franchise such as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, something that is a very delicate and huge part of many 20-something-year-olds' childhoods right now, you really want to get it right the first time. I mean, think about it. What if the first Mega Man game was an absolute shitload of fuck? 
would you want to play Mega Man 2 or Mega Man 3 or, or all the way up to Mega Man 7, X, 10, whatever? No. You'd have been hesitant. And I'm sure there were plenty of people that were hesitant about the second game. I'm sure that whenever it came out, a lot of people wondered, would it be like the first one? Not if you saw the screenshots first, obviously, but if you didn't, it was kind of like playing Russian Roulette with your NES system. At least they finally fucking got it right. Because if they hadn't ever gotten it right, my childhood would have been ruined. In fact, I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 was the reason why I sold some of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys at a most recent swap meet. Simply because I thought about that game, and in a total lapse of judgment thought, well, fuck, I don't want to be associated with this piece of shit. It's a piece of dog turd that needs to be recycled. Well, it was recycled to some kid who probably broke it. And now I really regret that. Hopefully you guys won't regret playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first game. Hopefully you guys will regret never playing the second, the third one, or Turtles in Time if you haven't already. And like I said, if you haven't already, you probably should. Anyways, this is Porcupine Theater. Peace out. Rate, subscribe, comment this video. Give it all your love. Give it all your hate. Give it all your shit. I don't give a fuck. Peace out. Hey, what do you guys want to eat? Pizza! Calabunga, dude. <laughs>